Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna convert numbers to its Roman numeral equivalent. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us convert a number to a Roman numeral. Notice on line 21, I'm first gonna convert three to a Roman numeral. Before we get into that, let's explain what these two arrays are. So this here is my set of numbers that I can use to map over to these symbols. Now, what does that mean, map over? So we have our symbols from one to a thousand, and they look like this. But unfortunately, when we have four, we don't say four as four ones, we say IV. And whenever this character is less than this one, we just subtract that, so this would be four. That phenomenon also exists on 10. Notice that when we say nine, we don't say V, one, two, three, four, to be nine. We say one X. Because this number is less than X, we subtract, so that would be nine. Guess what? It does it on 50 as well. We don't say 50L, 40, X, 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 X. That does look like 40, but what we say is X, L, and because X is less than L, we subtract, so there is your 40. That same thing works on 190, 500, and 400, and 1,000 on 900. So when you look at our sets, you understand why these extra positions are in there. Notice that we only have 1,000, 500, 150, 10, 5, 1. I've got all these extra ones in there. I have them extra ones in there for these conditions where it takes two characters to give us a value. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's step through this and see what happens. First, we're gonna do three. Let's do it. So let's turn three into its Roman numeral equivalent. Let's do this. So notice n is three. If you look over here, my local variables, n is three. I'm inside of Visual Studio's code. Now n, num, is my list of numbers that I'm gonna use to decrement, and SYN is my set of symbols. You can see them on the left here as well. Now I'm popping that off. Now POS is our index value into here. And that stands for position. So the first thing we say is cur less than num sub POS. Well, what's POS? POS is zero. So what is num sub POS? That would be thousand. So is three minus 1000 greater than zero? No. So because it's not, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna increment POS by one. So now we're gonna be using 900. And I come through there, 900's no good. 500's no good. You know, I'm just gonna keep working my way down. And what we can do is we can run this and put a breakpoint on 13. Let's go ahead and run that. And notice now POS is sitting at 12. Now I'm gonna count those out for you. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's looking at one now. So now the Roman numeral that we're gonna put in there is actually this I. Now notice here, we're gonna take that current number, which is three, and I'm gonna decrement it by one. But not one from the number, one from this array object. So now our current number is two. We're just gonna continue the same steps. Now I'm down to one. Now notice my Roman numerals is I, 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 which is three. My number is now zero, so we're done. I'm gonna return my Roman numeral, and I'm gonna print that out to the screen. Let's step into this program and take down 1994, see what that looks like. You remember what nums and symbols look like, right? So now we're gonna step through that. Now what is the first number I'm gonna try to subtract from this current number? That's right, 1,000. So look what I do here. I get in there, now that's an M, so I'm gonna assign that to Roman numerals, and then decrement it by num sub zero, which will be a thousand. My current number is 994. Let's do it again. Notice I did not increment my POS, so we're using the same thing and saying, no, nope, we don't have anything. We're now gonna start looking at 900. Now, can we take our current number minus 900? Yep, guess what? We just got another Roman numeral. Now CM, you know, is a custom number. I showed you how that worked earlier. So I'm just gonna step my way through here and you know, this just one, two, three. I'm gonna put a breakpoint on 18. I'm gonna run this. And then notice my Roman numeral is MCMXCIV. Isn't that awesome? F10. And notice my output down here is MCMXCIV. So Roman numerals, there you have it. You know what, they're always on fancy stuff, you know, like uh, movies, nice documents and such. So it's probably something good to know. Now that you know it, you can use it. And not only can you use it, you can teach it someone else. 
And there you have it, team. We're at the end of this video. Thanks for supporting my channel, and I'll see you back in my next video. Have a good week.